Okay, so I want to record another video about, um, so kind of watching these in order, if there's any kind of order here. Uh, I talked about making Blink last time, and then I talked about, uh, well, we did, no, excuse me, first we did the brightness, and then we did changing Blink. Uh, and now I want to talk a little bit about uh, having the, having the uh, code speed up over time. And so we talked about this in class one time, but I want to make a separate video to get this as well. So uh, what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to make a variable called speed. And so what I'm going to do here is, yeah, so what I'm going to do is instead of having the, right now, the reason that this thing is going across at the speed it's going is due to the pause. And so if we change that pause, and again, we've done this, hopefully we've talked about this in class already, um, depending when you're watching this, but um, yeah, we could slow this down. So now it's one second. So um, having a longer pause. But the problem is we have to like manually change this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a variable called speed. And I'm going to set speed. And like, okay, so I'm going to set speed to 1000 right now. Okay. And all right, so what's good about this? And so now I'm going to replace my pause with 1000. Now, the problem with pause being just set to 1000 is it's like, it's what we call static. It, like, it's not going to change. And so what I want to do is I want to be able to change it. So I'm going to put my variable speed of 1000 in there. And now what I'm going to do is now I can adjust that before I couldn't adjust pause because it was like a set value. It was always going to be a thousand or 500 or whatever I set it as to begin with. Once I set it, I can't change it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, same way we talked about changing the brightness in here. I'll get rid of that part. Okay. Just delete this block directly. Great. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the value of speed right now. It's set to 1000. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to like change speed by, I want to have a really big change just so it's visible. Uh, if I change it by one, that means it's going to go currently a thousand. It'll be a thousand one. If I want to decrease it, I need to do minus. And let me say minus 400. Uh, it's a pretty big change because I want to just kind of illustrate that it'll change. But yeah, so now it's going to, we're going to set our speed to begin with. It's a thousand. The pause is a thousand. So now I want to decrease that to make it go faster. So it'll pause for shorter amounts of time. So I need to change speed by 400. Every time it gets shot, it should start moving faster. Oh, got it, so it's moving. You can see it's moving quite a bit faster. And let's see if I can get it this time. Now it's moving even faster. And that's gonna make the game harder and harder. So especially if you, I think the blink is really messing me up too, because it's like hard to judge. But, um, so now you can see like, and I made it 400, so it's changing by a lot each time. Um, just to kind of illustrate what's happening. You might want to adjust those numbers a little bit. But this is a way we could add a little bit more to our game. And now it's going at super speed, and it might be impossible to hit. Especially if it's blinking. Hey, I got it. And now it's going, I think there's basically no pause. We're just kind of getting lucky there. Now it's going like negative pause. That's not possible. But anyways, okay, so that's how you can change speed. And that could be a really good thing in your code. This is a shooting game. Okay, that's fine. It's obviously working here, but you could, incor you could incorporate this anywhere. Anywhere where you want the challenge of the game to get more, to increase over time, one way to do that is to speed up the enemies or speed up whatever you're trying to hit. Or, yeah, I mean, or conversely, maybe find a way to slow down your own character, kind of depending on what game you're doing. Uh, so that's a couple options in here. Uh, hopefully that'll help for you.